NFL Week 14 previews. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books down in Tunica. They got Samstown, Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Fitz Casino, First Jackpot, and Hollywood Casino. Go check them bad boys out. TunicaTravel.com has got more information on them. Let's jump into this week. This is the, the biggest and the best games, the most interesting games. Um... Because there's some that like may not be the best games, but it's definitely interesting, at least because of circumstance. Uh, let's jump into game number one. The best game. The best game. Sunday Night Football, flex it. Believe that. Use the that Rams. Flex, flex card. Rams minus three and a half at the Chicago Bears. Sunday at 7.20 p.m. on NBC. Sunday Night Football with Miss Carrie Underwood. And I love Carrie Underwood. Whew, God almighty. Um, I know she's married. I'm married, too. We ain't getting into that. But let's jump into this. The Rams haven't played a game in the cold yet. Oh, they haven't. No. They played at Detroit. They, they, they played in the Dome. They get, they get to be inside. They don't get to be inside. This game is going to be, yeah, they, I didn't. I, I already looked leave. up the weather. I didn't think. Oh, it's going to be nasty. 29 no. degrees. De- De- December in Chicago is no bueno. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. 29 degrees at kickoff. Wind chill will make it about 20. Probably going to be wet, some moisture. That, it's supposed to be clear, but I think it's going to be raining like. The couple the day days before, before yeah. it'll just freeze over. Yeah, it'll make it nice, real nice, nice, frosty. Get that grass all nice and soggy. Now the Slow Bears, down. the Bears lost at the Giants last week. The Giants coming on. Giants they, playing better. They're playing a lot better. Uh, but the the Bears fought back with their backup quarterback. Probably should have lost the game in regulation. To be completely honest, I mean they went on, on or they got two overtime do, on the last play do, of the game. Do we want to talk about Odell Beckham? Uh, not, not going after the ball at all on yeah, the outside kick. I, just, I mean. <laughs> That's my guy, but I mean, come on, man. Um, come on. Go after the ball, why don't you? The Bears lose last week. The Rams won in Detroit. Bears are coming home. Rams haven't played in cold weather. And I don't think the Rams have played a defense no. quite like no, this one. They haven't. Well, if there's not a defense in the league quite like this one. The, this is the Jared best defense. Goff will be running for his life. In the NFL. Yeah. it's Mac has this new one-handed rush move. Where he takes one arm, and I like watch the breakdown of it on on some NFL channel. I, I would credit, I don't remember, but like he says, he gets so much more leverage with one arm, and so while he's not as strong as using both, he he the leverage makes it to where he can push him down. The highest paid offensive lineman in the league is Nate Solder, the left tackle for the Giants last week. With one hand, he pushed Nate Solder on the ground over and over and over again. This guy, they lost the game. He is must see TV to me. Yeah, oh, to he me, absolutely is. Being a fat guy, loving defense like that, I I gotta watch. I got to watch the Bears. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. This should be a fun, fun ball game. Um, is Trubisky gonna be back? Has that he is, been cleared? That's what I have heard. I mean, it's Tuesday when we record this, so we're way early in the week, and we're not able to give the best information because just sometimes with injuries like that. We that, don't know. What I've heard is that he will be back this week. He's projected, like, on all fantasy sh- sheets that I look at and, and some of the gambling posts that I read. Like, everyone's a, the line is baked in that he's is that he's going to be back. With Trubisky. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's going to be back, and I, I think, I think the Bears have a good shot. Oh, I think they got a shot to win this game. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm cover. saying. No, I, yeah, you get three and a half at home. Yeah, I, I, I like, like him here. I like the Bears. I don't like betting against the Rams. I like the Bears, though. That's, I, I do agree. Uh, let's jump into game number two, Monday Night Football. The Vikings at the Seahawks. Seahawks a three-point favorite. It's Monday, 7.15 p.m. on ESPN, up in the Pacific Northwest. Man Russell alive. Wilson, really good at football. This dude, it, this team is on fire right now. When you have a good coach and a good quarterback, you can win in this league. So, they are 75 right now. They're the five seed. So, so Seattle had this coup from all these defensive players saying, you're giving Russell, we, we built this team, we, we, you know, we – we got this bad defense, and and you're giving Russell Wilson everything, and you're turning the keys over to him, and all those defensive guys are gone. And guess what? Yep, they made the right decision. Yes, they did. They made the right decision. Well, That's think, what a quarterback does for you, man. But Pete Carroll understood what this league is turning into, right? You got a top three QB in the NFL, right? Three now. top three? Oh, I take him. I take him three. I mean, you got Breeze, next Mahomes, year. Golf, yeah, okay. Brady. Well, you're talking like, about Mahomes and Golf, like like they've been around for a while. Okay, this cat's got a Super Bowl. I know, but it. it let's not get crazy. I take him. That's he. He was not the reason they won that Super Bowl that year. I take him. He's going to be the reason they win the next one, though. Yeah, if they. Yeah, 
I mean, they, they got a little ways to work on, and they're, they're playing real well right now. You don't want to be the four seed in the NFC. I, I'll tell you we, this. We have watched the playoffs work itself out. AFC, NFC, good luck with the four seeds. Uh, Yeah. I, I, I will I mean, be betting on both five seeds. Oh, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Because it's either um, going to be the Chiefs or the Chargers. For, for the Vikings here, mm-hmm. you do not want to have your back against the wall and have to go to Seattle. To Seattle. <clears throat> There's a part of me that likes the Vikings in this game, but just because I've watched the NFL long enough – and, and everything always kind of resorts back to the mean. Can Seattle continue to do what they've done? They haven't been like crazy dominant at home. So if they regress at all, this is a good opportunity for the Vikings. And I don't know that this defense, it, they're doing it with Wilson. They're not doing it with the with the crazy strong defense. This might be a good opportunity for Cousins to earn some of that $90 million. And that, that's entirely possible. I will tell you this, going back and looking against the spread, they have turned into one of those teams that it is every other week. Yeah. And it's been that way for just six weeks spread. now. They win in all the games. It, they just covering some, not covering some. Yeah. So like they, for the past six weeks, and this is the week that they are supposed to cover because they they, they did not cover, cover last, last week. week. That's but a big but six straight weeks, it has been win loss, win loss, win loss. You know. Yeah. So well, man, maybe maybe they will. I mean, we'll see. This is this is a week that they're supposed to cover. Um, but I don't feel real good about it. Oh, I'm not touching it. Uh, let's jump into game number three, the game for the NFC East lead. The Eagles at the Cowboys. Cowboys three and a half point favorite. Sunday, three twenty five p.m. on Fox. It's in Jerry World. Cowboys have been good, and the, the Eagles did what they were supposed to do against a bad Redskins team. But I don't know that that told us anything about them. I am trying to figure out. I want to. I'm watching the Cowboys' last three games, which they won all of them, and trying to figure out what real team is there because the team that held the Saints to to less than two hundred total yards is not. That's not real. That's not real. That's not the NFL today. I I know that. I can't explain it, but I I'm if if they if they're they not going to do that every week. No, I know and the that. Eagles are not close to being the offensive juggernaut no. the Saints are. The Eagles will have more than 200 yards of offense. That's yeah. going to happen. But I'm trying to figure out. I don't I don't know what to, I I know what I think. Right. I don't know that I'm right or not. This game is in my gambling picks. Okay, okay. I think we'll, we'll leave it. Like, it's not in mine. Um, it is in mine. What do you think, This It's not in yours. What do you got? Well, there's a reason it's not in mine, because I'm clueless on this. Because I, I feel like at some point the Cowboys have to fall back off. I mean, they were 3-5. and five. And now they're 7-5. and five. Like, I I remember vividly watching the Titans just destroy them at home on a Monday night. Correct. And then last week, I watched that same team completely shut down the New Orleans Saints. I watched... The game with them and the Redskins, where they, where the Redskins won, both teams looked like they were shooting themselves in the face the whole fourth quarter. Not like just the end of the game debacles, but they looked like they were just pooping all over themselves. They just didn't know how to play football. Yeah, I can't think that those dummies are gone. Like they're all still there. Yeah, they just they just been hiding for the last couple weeks. Um, But the Eagles have looked kind of rough. Like they're winning well, they, some they've games. They've looked rough all year and long. They, the only games they're winning are against bad football teams. Yeah. I mean they they came back to beat the Giants at home. Barely. And I didn't think and, they were going to win yeah. that game. Uh they, 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 they probably should. shouldn't have. Um and then last, you know, last night. Well, yeah, they beat up on it just a complete shell of themselves in the Yeah. dead skins. Exactly. So I I don't know. I mean it is what it is. Um let's do Falcons at Packers, game number four. Oh, this is an interesting game. Exactly. Falcons at Packers. Packers are a six-point favorite at home with Joe Philbin as Joe the coach. Philbin. <laughs> Sunday, 12 p.m. on Fox. Uh, no head coach, really, for the Packers. Um, and yet they're a six-point favorite. And, and that says a lot about the Falcons, right? The Falcons like, have been a dog team. It is going to be cold at Lambeau. Yep. Um, and that might have something to do with it. I mean, Steve Sarkeesian's got to be gone after this year, right? Oh, yeah. No, I can't believe he's still got a job now. Like, the defense, you I can't blame this on the defense. Season. Like, the defense no. has been, you know, whatever. But the offense should have been able to take up some of the slack. And, and Sark, they have Sark, not. Sark was a terrible hire the day he got in there. I, I'm surprised that, that they didn't go. And, and they might the next go around, you know, somebody like Cliff Kingsbury, like whatever. And I understand he took the USC job, but eh, whatever. Um, it's interesting because it, it's such a big line. And, but the Packers always have big lines, and they rarely cover them. Everyone, I think, is assuming that Aaron Rodgers was sandbagging to try to get rid of McCarthy because that's what an adult would do, right? That's how an adult handles themselves. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. That's how a child handles themselves. We have a man-child. Um, but do the Falcons have any shot at this game? Yeah, 
yeah, if everyone assumes that Aaron's sandbagging, but he comes out and no, that's just how bad this team is, then yeah, Falcons can win this game. That team's terrible. Arizona just went in there and whipped their butt. They dominated them on the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Like, Arizona's offense is garbage, okay? Garbage. Yeah, And it the really fact is. that they pushed them around to put up 30 points, it's just something. Yeah, no, it really is. You're right. Um, I don't know. I'm staying away from it because it's just weird. It's a weird line. Uh, game number five, Ravens at the Chiefs. Chiefs are a seven-point favorite. Sunday, 12 p.m. on CBS, and it looks like RG3 is going to be your starting quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens. I bet this game's going to be cold, too. I would uh, venture to say it will be cold in Kansas City. Yeah, man. yeah. Not a fun place to play in the wintertime. But but the Ravens are used to that. Well, no, the Ravens and they are And they are yeah. built for That's that. Right. Now, the big thing about the Ravens is Alex Collins placed on IR. Um that's a big deal. That's that's a pretty big deal for that team. Deal. Ball control offense, they need their running backs. Correct. Especially with RG3 right now. And I have, have no idea. I, mean, I, I know Buck Allen. Like, I don't. I couldn't tell you any running backs on that team other than other than Allen. Uh, same here. I, I don't know any. And I follow this pretty closely. Like, I, I watch the Ravens a lot. I, I don't know. I don't either. Um, I'll tell you this. Like, against a bad defense last week in Atlanta, Ravens scored 30 points. Yep. Now, that was inside in a dome. Against a team with a ton of injuries. Against, against a really bad team. And the Chiefs' defense is really bad. I don't know. They, they're probably going to score 30 this week, too, even in the cold. But the Chiefs might put up 45. Oh, correct. So, a seven-point line here. The answer to them is do what do what you did last week, ball control. Don't yeah. score 30. Don't score fast. And just just keep Mahomes off the field. Keep him on the sidelines. The best defense for that guy. If, if I had to wager, I'd go with the Chiefs on this one. Well, they're really hard to bet against any week. Yeah. Um... Now, some weeks, the line just gets absurd. Well, yes. Um, but a touchdown, I mean, I don't know that they could be a tu- They'd be a touchdown favorite against the Patriots. I'm not going to say it's a bad bet. I know, you're right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just one of those things where could they, they could beat anybody by seven. They could beat, they beat the Rams by seven. Yeah, I that's, agree with that's that. That's not a big deal. I agree with that. They're a good team. Uh, how you feeling on this one? Probably Chiefs? No, if I had to bet it, I'm not betting it. I'm staying away from it. If I had to bet it, I would probably take the dog. I like betting dogs, though. I feel safer starting out with a head start. Anything can happen. Weird, cold game. They get a good hit on Mahomes. Mahomes' hands start feeling weird. You're thinking, let's set him down. Let's put some other bum out there and let the Ravens get gone. Right, like, I, like, I, I think about those things. Now, none of those things ever happen. NFL coaches don't think like I think. But I don't know. I mean, that's, that is a lot of points to a team that's, I think, smart enough to say, we're not going to let him score 50 because he won't have enough possessions to score 50. Yeah, I agree. And I agree. your defense ain't stopping nobody. Just, no. Just the problem is don't score in a minute. Score in nine minutes. Yeah. That's all. Like Or, or, or five or six at least. That's right. Yeah. Something easy. Break out the seven-minute offense every drive. Let's uh let's break out our seven-minute offense. Talk about the honorable mentions. Jaguars at the Titans. Titans are a four-point favorite. That's the Thursday this, night this football is, game. Is this Thursday night. 7.15 p.m. on Fox. Panthers, uh, nope, I'm, I'm going to stay away from that one just yet. Uh, but Titans and Jags, uh, four seems like a lot other than the fact that the Titans have owned the Jaguars. The, Jag- the, the Titans, if they have any pride whatsoever, they show up in this game, they kick their butt. Um, now, the Jags did hold the Colts completely scoreless. To zero. 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 Andrew Luck had a, like a run of three touchdowns a game for like 12 games. I mean, all season. He's just been putting up points, putting up points. Goose egg. Which is insane to me. I don't understand it. I don't know how it happened. I didn't get to watch it. I didn't watch a second of that game. That was a garbage game when he covered the recap. Six, yeah, that is a six trash to nothing game. Um, so I don't know if the Jags defense is like it figured things out. It wouldn't surprise me if this game is like a six to three game. Well, I remember the last time they met in Jacksonville, it was nine to six. Nine to six, yep. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, so all field goals. Now, Blaine Gabbert was, was the quarterback, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's jump into Panthers minus two at the Browns. Sunday, 12 p.m. on Fox. Your Browns went down to Houston last week and got whipped. Whipped. Needed that to happen. And now this week, they've got a Panthers team that's coming in with, what, four, three, four, four straight? Four straight losses. Four straight losses. That, that team is a gas bag. Uh, and, and I don't know exactly how it happened. I, I don't either. Is Ron Rivera gone this year? Gone. I think if they end up with a losing, they, they end up with a losing record, yeah. I don't even think it has to be, like, miss the playoffs. I think it's, like, you there end up 7-9. Not, not too long ago that we were like, man, they're like a – they're in like the top what, five. Weren't they? Were, they were five and two, six and two, weren't they? And now they're six and six. Yeah, they lost four straight. I don't know, man. I don't man, know. They play the same. You know what's crazy? McCaffrey looks incredible every week. Having, yeah, it's just having, nobody else does. Having an unbelievable running back doesn't make you a Super Bowl caliber team, guys. Giants, sorry. Like he's incredible. He doesn't. He doesn't equal wins though. No, he's really fun to watch. Doesn't, I'm with you. Doesn't equal wins. McCaffrey, unbelievable. Having, you, uh, having a just a crazy season. Is this any game on picks? 
Uh, no. No. Okay. So, so you think Brownings come back this week? And, and oh no, I've definitely not been on Browns. I would love to see them win this game. I would love. I think they've to got a chance to because oh, the Panthers have no lost to some. I will tell you this, really not good competition. I, I still believe in this Browns defense. I they've gotten some teams just hang some big crazy numbers on them. And a lot of that, all those games look the exact same. The offense goes three and out, three and out, three and out. That defense just has nothing left. And or the offense, Baker last week turns the ball over four times. Yeah, really hard to stop a team that has like a gazillion extra possessions. Yeah. Um, I don't know that the Panthers defense can do that. If the Browns defense gets rest, this will be the best defense that the Panthers played all year. Yeah, I think I agree with that. I think I agree with that. Maybe not. They played the Ravens earlier. Other than that, I think we're the best defense they'll play all year. Colts at the Texans. This is the last game. Uh, Colts coming off the goose egg. Texans put a whipping on the Browns. Texans minus four and a half. Still not a lot of love in Vegas for the Texans, and and rightfully so. They've won nine games in a row, but Sunday 12 p.m. on CBS. Uh, at what point do we actually believe in the Texans? Do we think that – because at, at what point now um, – it's not I don't believe in the Texans. It's I've watched football long enough to know teams just don't run off 10-game winning streaks. Agreed. Like the Saints had one rolling, and then they go into Dallas, and they can't put up 200 yards of offense. Like weird, crazy stuff happens because that's just how the NFL is. You don't just roll off that many wins in a row, in a row, in a row, in a row, in a row. I, now the Saints had happened think, on the road against a hot team. I kind of think the Texans are playing. It matters, man. I think at some point in time, like the football gods just don't work out. Yeah, the, the ball Colts, bounces the wrong way. The Colts coming off of just slacking, saying that ain't going to happen. They're going to have the best week of practice they've ever had. Houston, I, I don't, and maybe, do I believe that? Like, oh, you got beat, so you're going to have a good week of practice, and you did really good, so you're just going to say, oh, well, I'm not playing today. I, I don't know, but I mean, I, I think I like the Colts a lot, a lot in this situation. I could, yeah. I, it is not in my gambling picks, but it, I'm, I'm in a pool. I'm in a couple of pools, but one of the pools is you bet. Every NFL game, every one of them against the spread, you pick them. You know, you bet them. I, I will be picking the the Colts. Okay, I could understand that. I'll be picking the Colts in, in, in that pool. I I think I would probably lean Colts here because I just I cannot it's, believe in, it's in Texas. Strictly, it's, it's not even I don't believe in them. I think they're really good, and I think they're going to be scary for somebody to play in the playoffs. I really do. They could even work their way to a bye week, for God's sakes. I just think at some point in time in the NFL – you just you just get hit by somebody bigger than you, and even if they're not better than you, it's just their week and not yours. Yeah, and sometimes it, that happens. It happens all the time. I like it. All right, NFL Week 14 preview right there. As always, go to tunicatravel.com dot com for more information on the six incredible sports books down in Tunica, Mississippi, and head over to winningcureseverything.com. dot com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on YouTube if you are watching.